What's going on YouTube? How are you guys doing today? Hopefully fantastic. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to say that this was a part of my truck mania video, but I decided to take it out and make it its own separate video. So that's why I'm filming the intro now. Um, also, thank you guys for the cup sales because we've been killing it. So I'm about to put in another order. If you guys want to get them, I'll put a picture up on the screen or something or something from the last video to show you guys. And also, I want to thank you guys for 8K subscribers. We're almost at like 8,200. I know I didn't say thank you. So if you guys are new here, I appreciate you and welcome to the channel. So today we are covering a good buddy of mine's truck. He was at Truck Mania. So let's get into it. So I'm pretty excited to show you guys this truck. I don't know if you guys already follow him on uh, Instagram, but I'll put it down. It's some Oregon Duramax. Pretty sure it's a regular cab converted short bed Duramax. And this thing is looking good and it sounds even better. So I'm excited to see it run. And yeah, we'll see if we can get the rundown on what's, what's all done to it. Obviously not your average truck here. You got a regular cab short bed, which is already weird in the Duramax world. Now, did you did you build this? The you yep. converted it. Yep. All right. So, what was the process on that? So, uh, obviously the wife bought me a uh, steering cab long bed. She started me racing my uh, daily driver, and uh, so she bought me a steering cab long bed, and uh, it's kind of just been a dream of mine. To, you know, run a. Uh, Standard cab short bed. So what we did, we cut 14 inches out of the seam right here. That's the normal seam for most of these uh, pickups. So yeah. any long bed, it comes out, and then these seams right here. That's the 14 inches that you get it from. Okay. So you pull the backside off of it, cut the 14 inches down, and then no shit, it slides it right back in. Now, obviously this is to go fast, so we got some. <laughs> yes. We got weight reduction. Yep. Uh, I'm guessing there's a whole lot of go fast parts. We already got a lift pump. Oh, there you, we're getting yelled at already. So we just talked about it, but you told me the whole rundown on the motor. Can you can you repeat that? Because I'm kind of blown okay. away. All right, so it's an 06 uh, LBZ. It has 360,000 miles on it. Uh, it's still running stock CP3, stock injectors. Um, it has an LOI turbo with a tin blade in it. Uh, lift pump, built trans, wide bridge, cold side. And that's what you got. So basically, this is pretty much like a similar set to the orange, my, my big yeah, so yep. um, so how much power do you need? chili cheese fries down. Like 60, no, good. Uh, on the Northwest Dinosaur. No, okay, so with twins, I put down 630, 1286, but obviously, my truck's lifted, this is lowered, this is weight reduction, mine's heavy as fuck, so what do you weigh? Oh god, I don't even want to know. <laughs> I don't even want to know. I haven't even weighed it since it's been done, but... So, this is 5650 right now with me. Yeah. Which which uh, regular cab long beds are usually 73. Uh, it's like 60. When I weighed it, 68. Yeah, 68. 68. So you know you're about a, what? What'd you say? 56. 5650 with me in it. All right. So you're about a thousand pounds lighter. That just goes to show how much weight reduction helps, especially on pretty much the stock setup. That yeah. I mean, last night I set my uh, personal best. Uh, Personal best of 159 for 60 foot and a 11.53 at 114. All right, That's yeah, the yeah. Point. So <laughs> we're gonna watch them race a few more. Hey, good luck out there, man. Right, good luck.
gonna do it for today's video guys I hope you enjoyed it if you're new here please subscribe there's gonna be a lot more content like this coming from myself and other people around me who do the same thing if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it and make sure to go follow and uh, go follow some Oregon Duramax I'm gonna double check if he has a YouTube if he does I will plug it down below in the description so that's gonna do it for today guys we'll catch you later in the next video I'm out